your players to reach the top, and this year we did. It was just really exciting seeing a different place and a different sort of people. As my job has evolved over the years in the Air Force, I've really enjoyed flying. I mean, I'm just so honored and blessed to be on the same team as they are. We say it all the time, nowhere is spring as beautiful as it is on the Sanford University campus, and this spring is no exception. Hello, I'm Lauren Womack, a senior journalism major at Sanford and your guest host for this edition of the Sanford Chronicle. Our regular host, Brad Radisi, is on special assignment this month in New York. In addition to the beautiful weather and scenery, the Sanford campus is alive with activity this spring as students and faculty race toward the end of the school year. However, not everything is happening on campus. Many students chose to use their annual spring break for travel. The Sanford Ministries Choir visited New Orleans for a week of concerts and mission projects. The group assisted with a health clinic and trash pickup projects, in addition to singing throughout the city. My favorite part of the tour was our fifth concert, um, which we did at the New Orleans Mission to the Homeless. We had all lost our voices, we were all tired, but it didn't matter. Um, we were loud, we were excited, and the people in the audience were praising with us. And it was just really exciting seeing a different place and a different sort of people um, and still worshiping and singing and giving our hearts to God just in a totally different and new way. Another group traveled north to Chicago to participate in inner city mission projects through the Bridge Builders Ministry. The students worked in local schools and other projects that gave them a different view of urban life. This trip was unique for me in that part of um, the trip is what I got out of it. We talked about um, social justice and a wider view of what poverty is. And really we've just seen that this type of service is a lot more accessible than we thought it was. Because it's not, the goal isn't to go out and convert everyone that we talk to. The goal in some ways is just to help people because they are worthy of being helped. And the Sanford Wind and Jazz Ensembles traveled through Alabama and Florida, presenting concerts in schools and churches as part of their annual tour. March is championship time in the collegiate basketball world and is known to many as March Madness. This year, the madness struck Sanford's campus as the women's basketball team provided plenty of excitement for Bulldog fans. The women headed to the annual Southern Conference Tournament as the number two seed. It took an overtime victory in the semifinals and a hard-fought win over Appalachian State in the finals for the team to win its first conference championship in the program's 14-year history. And it sent the team to the NCAA tournament for the first time ever. As a coach, you want your players to experience the best. Uh, you want your players to experience what that's like winning a championship. You want your players to reach the top. And, and this year we did. We just worked hard. This is a, our goal that's been all year, and it's just amazing to actually accomplish it. It's, it's a great feeling. I'm kind of speechless, speechless right now, but uh, it's just amazing. I'm so happy for Savannah and I to be able to go out like this, and it's just so much fun to be a, be a part of this team because we have a great group of girls, and I mean, I'm just so honored and blessed to be on the same team as they are. Hundreds of fans welcomed the team home from their conference tournament victory in Chattanooga and Sanford fans followed the team in droves to their first round NCAA game in Auburn, Alabama. And more good news for Sanford Athletics was the announcement that Sanford graduate and former basketball player Martin Newton will be returning home as the university's new athletics director. It's an opportunity to come back to my university, a place where the decisions that I made as an adult were, came from the education and, and the lessons that I learned here at Sanford University. And it's an honor for me to be able to give back uh, to this school that gave so much to me. Newton is not the only new face on the Sanford campus. Howard Finch will be the new dean of the Brock School of Business, effective July 1st. Finch is currently an administrator and professor at a university in Florida. U.S. News & World Report has ranked Sanford's nurse anesthesia program in the top third nationally in the 2012 edition of Best Graduate Schools. The Sanford Nurse Anesthesia Program, one of only two in Alabama, admitted its first students in 2003 and graduated the first class in 2005. 
Hundreds of law school graduates returned to campus recently for Cumberland School of Law's annual Alumni Weekend. Festivities kicked off with the annual Rascal Day celebration and continued through the weekend with a gala and picnic. What's the message that we take from the life of Rascal? It is, friends, there is life beyond law school. During the weekend, it was announced that the Moot Courtroom is being named in honor of current law dean John Carroll, and the Dean's Conference Room is being named in honor of longtime popular professor Brad Bishop. Sanford hosted the Alabama All-State Choral Festival in mid-March. And Sanford graduate Jeffrey Clayton served as one of the guest clinicians for the event. Since graduating from Sanford, he has been recognized as one of the most distinguished high school teachers and clinicians in the country. And current Sanford students were featured in the annual Concerto Aria concert earlier in March. This competition showcases top students in voice, instrumental music, and conducting. And this month's alumni story takes us to the skies with 1991 graduate Rob Skelton. Lieutenant Colonel Skelton was on campus recently to speak to the ROTC cadets and share with them some of his experiences as part of the elite Air Force unit, the Thunderbirds. Clearly the Air Force, our mission is to, is to fly, fight, and win and, uh, and defend our nation in that manner. And uh, as my job has evolved over the years in the Air Force, uh, I've really enjoyed flying. The, the mission of the Thunderbird is to participate in recruiting activities, uh, to help retention rates uh, amongst those in, uh, in our Air Force, uh, but then also to be representative of uh, the men and women uh, that serve every day. Here we go, 90s to the left. Great opportunity to spend talking with them uh, about some of the things you know that Sanford stands for, God, country, uh, things that are great about being an American, um, as well as things that the Air Force stands for. So the opportunity to convey that to them after an entire career of uh, 19, almost 20 years in the Air Force, to let them know that I was in their exact same shoes 20 years ago really, um, I hope, motivates them and gives them the opportunity to think that the notion of serving their country for the greater good of, uh, of their country and for the world um, is really what Sanford and the Air Force are all about. And we are thankful for Lieutenant Colonel Skelton and his service not only to Sanford, but to the country with the U.S. Air Force. As for us, we're out of time, but you can read more about many of these stories at Sanford.edu. Don't forget, you can also follow Sanford on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Lauren Womack, and I've enjoyed being your host. Be sure to join us next time for another edition of the Sanford Chronicle.